should do it. Okay, Helen, that's all we can do today. And I'll need you to make an appointment for two weeks from now. Dr. Kevin Marat has been treating his patient, Helen Edgewater, for the past eight weeks, providing comprehensive dental care that has now moved into the restorative phase. From the start, she has been a very cooperative patient, always showing up on time, and always very grateful for Dr. Marat's skills and kindness. Oh, you've just done magic on me. I believe you're the best dentist in the city. I love what you do. Well, I, I do try. But it seems that there is a noticeably personal side to the attention the doctor receives from this patient. I'll see you in two weeks, but I wish it was just one. And he is wondering if he may have a problem. Thinking back to the first time he treated Helen Edgewater, Dr. Marat recalls that there may have been a sign of overenthusiasm on her part. So, Miss Edgewater, it looks like we oh, no, are going to. Please call me Helen. Okay, Helen. It looks like we are going to be able to fix that smile of yours. As we discussed, that includes a comprehensive oral exam and a good cleaning. You'll probably have to come back every two weeks or so till we get this finished. Oh, that's no problem. You know, my friends kept saying what a wonderful dentist you are, but nobody told me you were so good looking. Uh, well, thanks. Okay, let's get started. In retrospect, their next encounter should possibly have added to his concern as Ms. Edgewater became even more personal. So far, so good. You okay? I swear, you have such a gentle touch. You know, I used to have another dentist who wasn't nearly as gentle as you are. I could keep coming back for work like this as often as you like. And without question, their third appointment certainly seemed to have a far more direct show of interest and informality. Hello. Hi, Ellen. Ready for another round? I'm always ready for anything with you, Kevin. First, though, I found a small something you might like. Just a, a small token to show how lucky I feel that you're my dentist and all. Dr. Marat certainly likes Ms. Edgewater and finds her very attractive. But has he set himself up for a problem? As he ponders all sides of the situation, he is uncertain of what he could have done and what he should do given the circumstances. What are the ethical and professional issues raised by this scenario? You may pause the video to consider this question. Let's look at a few possible solutions that may have occurred to you. You may pause the video after each possibility to consider the implications of each option. Should Dr. Marat do nothing by neither confronting nor encouraging the patient's behavior, dismiss the patient, explaining that the situation has become untenable, continue care, but with an associate present to discourage overt attentions, Schedule a meeting with office staff to acquaint them with the problem. Confront the patient about the situation and about Dr. Marat's concerns that certain boundaries may have been crossed. Transfer the patient to another dentist, citing an inability to give proper care. Let's look at a few contributing factors as you weigh what is important in your considerations. The dentist's concern about the patient's well-being, a regard for his professionalism, the possibility of escalation of the patient's affectionate actions, the dentist's interest in his personal welfare, unease about the safety of the office staff and the premises, consideration of the reliability of the dentist's perceptions. Many dental practitioners face ethical dilemmas such as this one on any given day. 
Anticipating how you might deliberate and resolve such dilemmas is good preparation and can aid each practitioner to find their way out of the challenging situations they sometimes must face.